So they're probably going to okay. sleep. Okay. That's not good you heard sign. That too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. So what did we lose? I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the thruster get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, Not really. I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Yeah. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. Don't for forget to breathe. I've double checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. <sighs> All right. Take rest out of the airlock. this from anyway? Satellites, mission related debris, even pieces of Sarah's old station. Here's the space station. From when um, Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission. Uh-huh. Huh. Yep, um, that one. I'm kind of on it. What weird thing to feel honored about. <laughs> right, first things first, what can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? 
It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Okay. Oh, that's exploded. Uh, that's not functional. It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch, just press it, and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're crossing, well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Hey, remember that sunken space station at the base of the Nuts? Space this uh. Well never mind. So anybody fancy back home? Maybe even on the ship. What? Ryan? Not or Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. Least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings for someone despite the service. Oh, they are married. must have a pretty good battery if they can fit the uh, laser to wrist and now we need to remove the pipe I don't think this was totally essential but it was part of the system that, that actually directs the exhaust of the rocket engine if I remember correctly So it's now it's semi functional. Okay, there's still this piece here. a puzzle so I need to pushing pushing buttons randomly isn't that what astronauts do 
get the Death Watch wrong. Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Yao. Head back inside. And carefully. Yes. Yes. I think that window actually ruins the <laughs> heat heat tiling and under under of the ship. It should be on the top side. Oh. First first real mission. Sunken space station. This feels like a one one episode from from Sea Quest uh, DSV, old old sci-fi TV series underwater. Isn't this toxic or something? like meter space station This is ISS. Pretend you are turned out. drowning experience. going to sleep apparently so this is escape board I think and there's not not smart not much to see when you are actually flying to Mars. So the sleeping is actually actually making a lot of sense.
here, here, here we are. We are pretty close. What now? Closer? Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster can send us completely off course. I'll sit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please, be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Coffee. Okay. So, basically it was more badly damaged than before. Yes, it, it, it has cracked. Sis, I don't think we can salvage this thruster. It's taking severe damage. Diagnostics say the same. You'll have to cut it away. Are you sure? In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Copy. Turn the power off before you do. Claire, I can't turn the power off from here. Okay. You need to cut the power cable connected to the thruster. You can't miss it. <laughs> there's, there's more stuff to explode. running out of time. Perhaps strong maybe. Oh no. Can we get back in? Any duct tape? Yeah, duct tape would be nice. I mean, duct tape would be really, really nice. Uh, yeah. 
going to okay now we are losing pressure Big sister has been kind of kind of mother mother to her. The forest feels denser now compared to a few years ago, at least. <sighs> That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. It still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. Claire, are you coming? story right yeah um where was i ah right okay so so her mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night what's a frat party uh well it, it, it's like a birthday party but instead of presents people just um drink a lot that sounds stupid it was i never liked going to those either uh, but i'm glad i did go to this one your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and well, um, I, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flaying about like a lunatic, then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg, then there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. <sighs> Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea. <laughs> Honest answer. Whoa. Cool, right? Lots of cool places here. So, what is this? Who made this? Dad. Glad this is all still here. Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why didn't ah. I get to go? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. Okay, Moonbear, come and get your gear. Uh, climbing yeah. and diving. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> oh, uh, my foot. This is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things. Uh, left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to them. Dad. Yeah. Claire well, doesn't like. Because, because no. Kathy is like number uh, one to get to for the, the moon, father. You need a badge. Uh, just like your scouting badges, basically. Okay, she Why has been scouted. Well, well, it's a badge that on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing and we needed to climb our way up, you could and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? <laughs> they're completely safe, Kathy. Completely okay. safe. All right, so final tally go or no go? Go. Yeah, there's not many games have a younger and older versions of the characters, so this is this is kind of, kind of, kind of neat. Pickaxe. 
as hard as you can, one after the other. Okay, how do I? Okay, balls. Interesting me mechanic. Uh, I, I love how she defies the gravity. That's right. One and then the other one. I, ne I need to program my nervous system for the for this. Climbing without any supports or safety safety net. WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You, you know what happened to me, M Mom. Please, just come with us. Don't, don't be silly. Come, Claire. I hate you for what you're doing. I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Let's put the gear away. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? She does. <laughs> Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Let's get you home. You need a big rest before your exam tomorrow. Yeah, parents deciding what to teach to their kids. Okay, she got almost spaced. Have you been watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, sis. <laughs> I just... I just brought that for comfort. I, what do you expect to find on Mars, Kat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... She wants to find her father. It's always 
difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe I've always meant well. Isaac. But. You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's all that matters, right? Not He's really. He always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I, I think the storytelling is better than you know, there, deliver us in uh, right uh, deliver, deliver us from the moon. Okay, what's the Captain next the danger we are in? Cat, I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far, I'm doing just that, right? Close the shutters for dramatic effect, because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. Okay, you just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay, well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Lavos. Okay, that's big. That's really big. Have any of you ever seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. All right, Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint zero to two are calculated and defined. Waypoint two assigned to auto lock abort function. Final go no go part at waypoint two. All right, Kathy, take us in.
And we have a capture. Hard capture now also complete. Docking confirmed. Looks like a smooth dock. Great job, Kathy. Thanks. Ryan, Sarah, you have permission to enter the ship. Permission was assumed. We're already passing as we speak. Copy. I'll reprimand you later for insubordination. Yeah. Uh. Accept my sentence with dignity. Sis, I can join them to investigate. We only need one person. That's not necessary. It's not necessary for me to stay here either. Kathy, please respect my command. Oh, my sister. I am your commander. Claire? I think we can use another set of eyes over here. The interior is huge, not like a maze. We could be here a while. Copy, Sarah. Kathy's heading over now. Let's see what we have f can find from the spooky ship. I'm unlocking Ayla for you. I'll send her over. Copy that. Hey, beautiful. Isn't this quiet everywhere inside the ship? Ayla, are you seeing this? I've never seen so many cryopods in one place before. Yeah, that's the how, how they actually traveled. Hologram. Here. How are you even finding this data? Are you keeping secrets from me, Ayla? Well, let's take a look. Okay, how do how do I 
Okay, I can't lock this, so I need to find the, the direction and angle where this is actually every one of these are actually blue stand on the edge of greatness. We are the culmination of thousands of years of technological progress. Earth is a lost cause. There's no coming back from the damage we inflicted upon her. But now, we have a chance to correct humanity's course. A future without conflict, without division, uncorrupted by weakness or doubt. We have the tools, the minds, and the bodies to create a sustainable utopia. A place for you, your One man's children, utopia is another's dystopia. With my five-year plan, we will build five -year a plan. foundation for Albert together. What about Arc Zeta? Don't we need all three arcs for this to work? The loss of Arc Vita is one we can overcome. Okay. Remain strong and work hard. To compensate. How but did they lose succeed, one arc? We must be unified. If we do not work together, we will fail. If we challenge and fight one another, we will fail. In this monumental endeavor, we are only as strong as our weakest link. So, people of Outward, we stand on the precipice. Join me, and together we will build something better. Gather your belongings and prepare to transfer to Ark Habitas for our descent to Mars. We leave in two hours. Was that stunt truly necessary? What were you hoping to achieve by diverting the ship? Rosa. I don't want to force you to cooperate, but... Tell that to the fine men you got escorting me. I'm... Sorry it came to this. But we need you. Outward needs you. Your medical expertise is crucial to the colony. Everyone's lives depend on it. I will do my best. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you, William. Rosa and the others. Ayla, if they made it to the surface, they could be with Dad right now. Ayla, I'll log these to my astro tool myself. So go ahead and strike them from your backups, okay? We'll let the others know later. After we find out. Should jot that down. Was 
lost their one hot spot here. Make a note of this. The best solar panels we've produced in the past 20 years can't even reach 40. Sarah, can you find any data on the network? Can you pay that with us as proof? Honest, if it's true what Ryan found, this is the most advanced energy converter known to humankind. So why isn't it functional? That's weird. Pretty good for do it yourself. Colony spacecraft. And I, I don't wonder why why they were late with this game because this has lots of stuff. Content the door to the bridge is locked, but I think I can open it with a stream point. I should be able to connect this through the glass. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I know. 
Sim simple speech. I'm through. Great job, Kathy. Yes, now press onto the bridge. Everything is red. So what happened? Something is blown. Or damaged. Claire, I'm in the bridge and the entire room is filled with pieces of debris. You sound almost happy. Well, to be honest, the chaos looks very... pretty. Is there any more? <laughs> Can you determine what caused it? I'll look around. The emergency security doors have been activated here. Whatever happened behind those closed doors is the answer. An answer we can't get to. No, afraid not. What's the status of the bridge's main terminal? Looks like I need to fix the MPT converters before I can turn the arc's power back on. Output metrics show the same. The MPT dish is receiving energy, energy from the batteries. The ship's operating system is really locked tight, but I think this should open up a door behind you, right? Now, Kathy, finding a way to restore the arc's power is top priority. I'm on it. Looks like I need to fix ah, the MPT okay. converters before Apparently. I can turn the arc's power back on. It turns uh, yeah, uh, space puzzle puzzles, Hanks. Space power uh, puzzles with the microwaves. I'm on it. Observation related stuff, not oh. not the op observation dif di different company. This is Keoken uh, Games, which actually okay. made the Del Deliver Us Moon game some years back, uh, Kickstarter game actually, with the puzzles and really really good, Thanks. pretty interesting plot. Actually, review it a couple years back. Review oh, it in, in my blog, the so really did a number on this place, too. Ouch.
that, 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 that's me. Great. Yeah, now it works. I just forgot what, what key actually. Let me control the ACE unit. Apparently standing away uh, in the way of these microwaves isn't dangerous at all. Somehow. I'll try again. Good here. Connect the next one. Cool. Hang on. Got a power spike here. Be careful. Ah, uh, all right. I have wrong order. So this one. Are you human or some robot? I'm I'm a, I'm a teenage girl or a young 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 woman. Started started as a kid from the moon colony. Uh, but I have a I have a robot robot friend here. So uh, four. Five. That's right. Thanks. So the basic premise in this game is that, uh, well, it's it's a story from the Deliver Us Moon, which is actually a pretty great game. You should actually try it. It's it's a really smoothing, uh, interstellar stellar uh, style game where one astronaut is sent to mission to moon basically suicide mission so anyway, anyway th this is actually uh, picking up after that 13 years after that so basically the premise is that moon moon colony that was producing energy for the Earth, <laughs> they kind of decided to move to Mars, which is kind of that that kind of <laughs> makes things difficult uh, because Moon is actually producing uh, stuff to uh, Earth, uh, en energy for Earth with the with the helium three. So yeah, that was right. Cool. At the first game was deliver as as the moon was that uh, you were astronaut who had to fix the situation. Is this right one? Eight. Okay. Talking while doing puzzles. Not a good idea. I think that did it. Yeah, that did it. This must be Elon Musk's dream. I, I think the uh, leader of of this expedition, the uh, guy who decided that let's move from moon to Mars, is something like Elon Musk, or a, at least at least similar character. Opera team, Arc Labos is fully functional. Congratulations. Let's check the MPT, Ola.
Claire, the MPT is fully operational again. I'm going to re-establish the connection to the surface. No! What? Roger that. Entry guidance design has been re-optimized. Preparing for EDL. T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 I'm sorry for being so protective. I know I'm not mom. Miss Mission Commander is, I mean is her big sister. I see how much you've grown. I know I can trust you. And their father went with the, with the colonists to Mars, so... Commander. Moment of truth, Opera Team. The orbit burn doesn't function, we all know what to do. Starting burn. This, this can on, only succeed. Every ship in every sci-fi always crashes to Mars. Tertiary thrusters. Gone. Momentum desaturation has failed. Mass explosion won't help. We are in loss of control. Understood. Damn. Upper team, abandon ship. Ryan, Sarah, to cargo in the pods. Kathy and I will try one last maneuver. Cat, do you copy? is actually approaching 10, 25, 60, 40. Thank you. 
Hey, wait for my sister. Captain, Captain shouldn't go down with her ship. your speed time no damn she, she has always trouble with those Safety belts. You see, he needs to land the ship or something. Get out the engine. I don't think so. Part two, deployment commencing in three, two, one. Okay, it's a X mode. Ouch. We are going down. Once, once, once again. Hard landing. 8,000 meters to surface. Ford exceeding optimum velocity. <laughs> Although Ford is also lighter. Okay. I got this. Ah. Ah. Going wrong direction. Yeah, of course. Marsh landing needs a rocket rocket assisted landing system. Otherwise the chutes are not slowing enough down. Too thin atmosphere so didn't just work. Okay, we had like lateral movement, so that 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 worked out in in the end. Well, damn. A bit of jet fighting in the ground.
ACE unit seems to be okay, so maybe it, it can help us. Although we didn't see her dying, not exactly, so she, she might be dead or might be alive. 